Today we are looking at the base 87 rated closer. As you can see here, high, medium, three star, four star, right footed. Can play striker or centre forward. And he has got some amazing finishing and composure. Not the best shot power, which is disappointing, but it doesn't matter too much, I don't think. In terms of header and accuracy, 90, which is really good. Great jumping. Not bad acceleration, but the sprint speed could definitely be improved. In terms of trait, just power header. We've gone for an architect, and that is because on a new gen, he becomes lengthy with an architect. So we're interested to see how he plays in game. We were talking about chem styles, pricing, what I thought about the card, and old gen chem styles as well at the end of the video on Footbin. That being said, let's go jump into some gameplay, but have a word from today's sponsor. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt 9, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So with Closer, we're expecting him to be a little bit slow on the ball. His main job today is basically how his hold-up play is and, of course, how good he is at finishing. In real life, he was an absolute monster, especially in the World Cup. So I'm hoping it kind of reflects a little bit in FIFA. We know that's not how it always works. We get him on the ball already. Especially being lengthy, that means he gets faster over time. He feels a little bit clunky on the ball, I have to say. Pick him up here. Little Traveller outside. Good block. But the main thing is basically his ability to finish as well as being able to link up other players in our team when he's some thrown goal. See if we can pick him out here of a cross. There's closure. Oh, very unlucky. But skill. Oh, oh, so unlucky. A little bit slow going into full speed, but again, kind of expected that with him. Closer, lovely little touch, little layoff. Back to closer. Hold up play, not a problem. Don't mind him doing that. Just waiting for the space. See if we can find him again. Out wide. Back into closure. Oh, very unlucky. Seems like he can definitely hold the ball up and open up the space for other attackers, which is really good to have someone ability to do that. Wait for the overlap. I think he's just offside. I hope he's not. He is just offside. That is a shame. We had him clean through then. Closer running in the back. Can we use that lengthy meta to get on the end of it? We can. Good body. Closer shoots. Oh, I should have snapped it a bit earlier, but that's what is really good about him, his ability to bully the defenders. And being architect, making them lengthy also helps out massively with that situation, as you saw, to open up the space to get the shot off. Very lucky not to get a shot on target properly, but we shall take it either way. We get ourselves another corner here. All right, closer holds the ball up for a second. Can do a little one-two if we can. Wait for it to get back on side. Into the space. One more. Run the back. Gets fouled, but he managed to keep going. Oh, very unlucky there. Heavy touch. Would have been clean through, but didn't get tripped there. And that's what we're using him at the moment, as you can see, sitting on that last man. Either to hold up the play or play the ball in behind. Right, we've managed to get a bit of space. Closure running in. Can he get the touch? Oh, it takes a big stride. We do manage to get the tackle back. Not a problem. Looking for the space again. Closure picks the ball up. Bit of skill. So far, that is half time. Our opponent has played a very sweaty team and he is sitting very, very deep. A couple of things I've noticed with Closer that I do like his ability to get in behind and how strong he is at holding the players off. The problem is with him. He is very slow getting into full speed and he has a big swing on his shots, which is not good enough. You can see here we only had three shots between. It's been a very, very tight game, but overall very, very impressed so far. Let's go jump into the second half. Second half is underway then. Let's see if we can get ourselves a couple goals and assists with uh, Closer. So far, it's been really hard to break down and this is the type of opponents that we play. Very, very defensive. Obviously, he's playing higher up in the delete divisions as well. We are playing in a classic match, but because we play in high-end divisions... These are the normal opponents we play against. And these are a good tests for Closer to see if he can get on or not and what his problems really are. Looking for the space. Can we find it? There's Closer. Take the touch. And again, that's what I was saying with the long swing. He needs to snap at that. And we've got ourselves possibly a goal if he gets it on target. Very unlucky. Closer, a little layoff. Need to come beat. There's a problem with though. It takes too long to go into full attack. And that is an absolutely unbelievable ball. Finesse, great save. He moved his keeper as well, I noticed. But that's the first proper chance we've had with him. Looking for the space, driving forward. There is closer. Takes a shot, and that is a poor shot. He's got to be doing better there. Out on the edge. Looking for the space. There is closer. A bit of step over. Left foot. And again, not the greatest finish. This card's... He's okay. Top level, not that great at all. Reason why he's so cheap. If I were to play somebody else with not the great skill rate and not very good at defending, 
We can have 100, maybe 300 goals of him. Easy. Obviously exaggerating there, but... Still trying to get in behind. Can he use that strength? He can't. Good defence again. Got probably one more attack left. We need closure to step up for us. Closer with the skill, bit of dribble, takes a shot, he ends up passing, that's a shot. But you can see doing the skill and stuff, not a problem at all, but when you play against the high-end level players, he's just not good enough. Kind of expected that. If I were to play again or show you some more clips as you're scoring non-stop, I would be lying to you and saying how good he wasn't. So it's something you have to consider when you're looking at these reviews. You can see here, our opponent had two shots. That's all he had, one with Mbappe on a counter-attack and scored. So we absolutely dominated in terms of how many shots we had. Expected goals were way more. In terms of shooting, that's what let us down the most. We had seven shots, two on target. Closer is just not clinical enough at the top level. If you want to play lower level for fun, go for it. Not a problem at all. So we have a look here. He had seven shots, two on target, one blocked, or four shots blocked. That's why they weren't on target. So almost every single shot was technically on target. But because he takes too long to shoot, that's his problem. In terms of passing, really good hold-up play striker. If you have two strikers, he can hold the ball up and play it to somebody faster. But what I didn't know what else to expect with this card. There's a reason why he's so cheap. There's a reason why nobody uses him that much. And if you're in the lower divisions, he's probably going to be amazing. On old gen, he's probably going to be amazing in the lower division. But top-tier football or top-tier football, top-tier FIFA, he's just not good enough, unfortunately. Let's go jump onto Footbin. So we are on footbin. A couple of things I want to talk about. I could have showed you gameplay where I'm scoring loads of goals with him. I'm getting loads of assists. I make the card look amazing. But I wanted to be honest with you guys. And this is the reason why he's only about 10,000 coins more than his minimum price. Unfortunately, he just doesn't suit FIFA. If you're having fun or just want to play in lower divisions, he's definitely a good card for that. But in terms of top tier gameplay and top divisions, he's just not good enough. In champs, you're going to struggle with him. You might be able to get a few goals here and there, of course, but against some people that know what they're doing in the 14, the no's, or the 15, 16 wins, and same as Elite Division, you don't see this card, and that's the reason why he's so cheap. But on new gen, you're going to want to have Architect to have any chance. He's definitely good enough at holding the ball and giving the ball to somebody else. But when you're playing against somebody who needs to have snapshots, he's just not good enough for that. In terms of old gen, he's going to be a hunter every single time. And I don't want to bash the card too hard. I don't want to say it's terrible. But he is really difficult to use. Like I said, especially on new gen and the, and the top tier sort of FIFA, he is very difficult to use. But that's what we do on this channel. We like to give you honest reviews. If I don't agree with me, that's fair enough. But I'm just giving you what I've done with the card and how I felt with it. If you have any more questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that like button and subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.